Hey Wonderly, it's Megan Tonjes, Tonjes and all on YouTube, and I'm here to talk to you about my top five outsiders. So if you're like me, you enjoy characters on TV and in movies and in books that maybe are a little bit left of center. So I thought I would make a video for you talking about my top five outsiders, loners, outcasts, generally awesome characters. I broke this down into five categories, TV, movies, books, music, and video games. My number one pick for TV is Buffy the Vampire Slayer, a 16 year old blonde girl who kind of has to save the world from demons and vampires and the like. This was one of my favorite shows growing up, basically, because it's about a strong, badass female character who, you know, saving the world, also balancing finals until season four. Let's be honest. Season four, not the best. For movie, I chose River from Serenity. I hope that most of you know what Firefly is, one of my favorite TV shows. Again, another Joss Whedon TV show. And one of my favorite characters was River Tam. She has one of the coolest entrances in a TV show ever. She's this young girl who's seen as kind of crazy and a little out there because she's been experimented on. She's incredibly naive and innocent and childlike, but she's also incredibly deadly. And in the movie Serenity, she becomes such a badass. Like, there is a scene, this crazy, like, ballet, kick boxing, dancing, fight sequences, just all kinds of amazing. For book, I chose Alphaba from Wicked, The Life and Times of the Wicked Witch of the West by Gregory Maguire. This is a book as well as a musical that kind of shows the backstory of the Wicked Witch before she was so wicked, when she was going to school and roommates with Glinda the Good Witch. Who knew those two were friends? She's a total outsider. She has this uh, this very apparent green skin. She kind of stays to herself. She's sort of this rebellious, cynical, outspoken character. And she's very flawed, but you feel for her. Like we know her as this very one-dimensional character from Dorothy's point of view, who's bad and everyone hates the Wicked Witch. And then you read this book and you watch this musical and you're like, oh my God, I love her. And you start to understand a little bit why she becomes the way that she is and maybe why we see her the way that we want to see her. A good example of how you can't judge a book by its cover that was punny, see? And it definitely shows how everyone sort of has to play their part, and that part isn't always the hero or the damsel in distress. For music, I chose Beth Ditto. As a plus size girl, she's a huge inspiration to me uh, because she just does not care. She just wears whatever she wants. If it fits really tight, she doesn't care. She shows it off. She is just so comfortable in her skin and such an inspiration. She's also an out gay woman, so she's very active in the LGBTQ community. And she has such a good voice. And finally, for video game, I chose Elizabeth from Bioshock. And I'm not gonna give away too much of it because this game is gorgeous and amazing and oh my god, you need to go play it. But Elizabeth sort of starts out as this young damsel in distress. She's been locked away her entire life, possibly experimented on. She kind of becomes this badass. She goes from being able to pick locks and things like that to, I don't know, opening up rifts in time and space and like bringing things through from other dimensions. And I just really like her spirit. Like yeah, she can be a little frustrating at times because she just runs off and does her own thing, but she runs off and does her own thing and she has such conviction that what she's doing is right and she kind of follows her heart that I got nothing but respect for her. So these are my top five outsiders. There were so many to choose from, so hopefully you like my list. Please let me know who your favorite outsiders, loners, and outcasts are below in the comments. And thank you guys so much for having me. Bye. Thank you for watching and please subscribe for more Wonderly. Right? Subscribe.